In the picture, these three points are the midpoints of the line segments that make up triangle A, B, and C. But did you know that if these are the midpoints right here, then it's going to have a special relationship where the corresponding sides of the red triangle and the bigger triangle are going to be parallel. And most importantly, the length of the red triangle is going to be one half of whatever the bigger triangle is. That is going to be the same for all the corresponding sides of the two triangles, where this is going to be one half and they're going to be parallel to each other. So since all of the sides have that common ratio of one half, then triangle ABC is going to be similar to the red triangle through SSS. A set of triangles is formed by joining the midpoints of the larger triangles. If the area of triangle ABC is 128, then the area of DEF, which is the tiniest triangle in this picture, is which of the following. Biggest mistake that people make here is that they see triangle ABC they know that the area of that is 128, but that doesn't mean that the red triangle's area is going to be one half. There's a second thing that you gotta know, and that is that if two triangles are similar, then the ratio of their areas is going to be proportional to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So it's not gonna equal one half, it's going to equal one half squared, which equals one fourth. I mean, if you kind of look at the picture, the red triangle does look like it's one fourth of the size compared to triangle ABC. So now that we know that we can do this cool problem, if the area of the triangle ABC is 128, one fourth of that will represent the area of that red triangle, which is going to equal 32. And that is going to be the same pattern throughout all these tiny triangles inside. So if the area of this red triangle is 32, then this triangle is going to be one fourth of that size which is going to equal eight. Doing that again, this triangle is gonna be one fourth of that one. So that's gonna have an area of two. And to finally find triangle DEF's area, that's gonna be one fourth of two, which equals one half. That is going to be letter choice C. That was a fun problem and hope it was a good review of these geometry concepts. If it was, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode, peace.